again, thick of tears. You might be wondering what you're looking at. Well, it's sort of my project for today and tomorrow. I think it's actually going to start icing up today, but I'll use what I can for now. Oh, and a, ahead of time if the wind gets a little bit windy. Sorry about that. Uh, my, uh, my, uh, what is it called? My dead kitten fell off. So what I'm working on here, let me get a better shot for you. Here's doggos. There's some crap I found on the ground. So in this part of the yard, you haven't really seen it too much because I don't use it very much. And also I don't really show a whole lot of my yard. Uh, I'm doing that today. It's going to be a little bit of a change for the year. You're going to see a little bit more. Um, there's that mess there, of course. But for now, this is what I'm working on. I'm going to be trying to build a chicken pen. As many uh, other homesteaders kind of put up with, uh, there's a certain lack of money, a certain lack of finances that one is faced with sometimes. So, you know, necessity is the mother of invention, and this is going to be the frame to this chicken coop that I've got. In short, this is a pavilion top. It used to be a mosquito net. I've got another one actually over there. It was a different one. But it, it was a mosquito net. Um, I dumpster dived for it is actually how I got it so uh, the legs on it were broken and or missing or something like that you'd see one broken right there I actually did that and then there's another one over there and there's a third one somewhere so one of them's missing but it was just thrown in the dumpster and I didn't really think too much about the frame because it just was already with it but I was wanting this mosquito net more than anything so that's really why I pulled it out but as it turns out, the rest of it is going to be pretty useful. Uh, I've already got it set up. I had to kind of figure it out a little bit, make sure the pieces that I needed were there, and that's not focusing, but oh well. Those panels over there are ones that were given to me by a buddy and will eventually become a dog pin for our jerk dogs. So I don't have to chain them up because I don't like chaining them up. And also, that one there yells when you chain her up. <laughs> so what I'm really torn on right now, forgive me if the sound changes, I'm blocking the microphone. Um, from the wind. What I'm really torn on now is whether I actually want this chicken coop back here. I don't have a very good, yeah that's my house, <laughs> I don't have a very good um, way of watching the backyard until I can replace that door right there with a the good window. Um, so there is some chance of danger from the chickens but really I don't think there's that much more danger from the chickens or for the chickens compared to like if I just let them run around in fact, it's probably a little safer. I, I might go ahead and temporarily, at least, lean this frame up against this uh, existing fence here, which isn't really even all that good, but is, this has been here for like 30 years. It used to be a dog fence, so it's kind of got some, it's got some layering there, if you can see. And I might just go ahead and lean it up against this, give it an extra bit of protection from that side, give it a little bit of stability, because I don't know, once I get the top on that, how it is gonna react to the wind. Um, this in here, that one right there, was laying on the ground, broken, in that little clearing area. That's what I was filming in last fall, just to kind of stay out of the sun and rain and mosquitoes. So yeah, it's, they're not very good in the wind. In February is very, very, very windy. But I am going to go ahead and use for the top the existing tarp part of this. I'll cut that mosquito netting off, no big deal. All it's going to do is involve a little bit of, I might just go ahead and just snip it off, I don't really care. Um, I was going to say I can go ahead and just unravel this with a seam ripper, but there's there's a lot of that to, and then I don't have time, so I might just go ahead and take the scissors to that. Cut it off, reuse the uh, mosquito net, wrap that up, give it a wash maybe, I don't know, see if there's any holes. Same thing is going to happen to that one, the top of that one's actually shot, so I'll be cutting the mosquito netting off of that, and that will become part of my bush crafting and my uh, camping gear. Let's get this out the way right now. It may turn out that I move this chicken coop a little closer into the front yard, but for now I think for the sake of just doing it and having a place to having a place to kind of anchor the, the sort of flimsy it's not super, it'll be better once the wire's on it, but it's still kind of flimsy. We'll anchor it to that right there, keep it from blowing away, keep the rain off the chickens. If we have to move it, we'll move it. We're just going to be wiring it there, so it'll be a matter of cutting or unwrapping the wire and dragging it across the yard. It's probably going to be pretty light. Or disassembling it, you know, whatever. Anyway, let's get going. So I went out and I bought some brand new lineman pliers. I don't have a lot of tools myself. I'm sick of buying tool or buy, I'm sick of borrowing tools, rather. I don't mind buying them, I guess. 
But these are brand new, never been used, as you can see, still in packaging, bang, from the hardware store. Uh, this is uh, the wire. I actually have some 20 gauge um, electric fence wire somewhere, but I couldn't find it and I, did, I wasn't too confident that I would be able to find it today, so I just went and bought some. It's like uh, 350 feet or whatever of deck 16 gauge tie wire. So it's it's a lot, you know, it's it's sort of dead soft, so it's a lot easier to bend than that, that electric fence wire. That's wine to keep me warm. Early celebration, St. Patrick's Day and uh, my gloves because it is 30 degrees out here and the fingers that are holding the camera are very cold. <laughs> I also have this bow saw, it's a big old bow saw with the uh, aggressive cut blade on it. Um, that is going to be for clearing out a lot of whoa, the trees over there. So I'm going to go do that since the wind's coming. Also found some scissors. Also here's the wire <laughs> by the way. It's a four foot by 50. It should be enough to cover that. I think those are 10 on each side. And if not, I'll go get more, but it cost me like 40 bucks. But yeah, my scissors here, these are some junk scissors I've got. I wore them out from doing all my sewing and they're not super easy to work with. So we are going to actually fix that. A little bit of rim oil. The Teflon. It's meant for guns, but once it works itself in there, it's way better. Keep your hands from getting too tired when you're using shitty scissors. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on that. I'm hoping the top will maybe make it a little bit more stable. And don't really know. That's as high as I'm going to just because of how flimsy it is and the fact that I'm missing some of the bars. I don't need it to be any higher than that anyway. These chickens are alright. Not gonna lie, this is actually, other than the dirt, it's actually a pretty nice little canopy. Really good fabric on top, some kind of polyester. It has some Velcro right there on the inside. Doesn't have any ties, but we can fix that. Oh, here's a little, there's a little loop I can use. But yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, I'm kind of sad, vaguely sad, that I'm gonna be taking it apart. That's okay, because I'm gonna leave these zippers intact. I might be able to stick it on something else. Who knows? Hi. Hi. See, if it was if it was just a matter of keeping the chickens confined and there weren't any predator problems, this would be enough. But it isn't because any dog can jump right through that. In fact, Hazel's already done it. So the wind is picking up. The temperature's dropping really bad. It is getting colder and colder. I'm warm because of the wine, but uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and call this a video. This is sort of, I guess, a part one of a something <laughs> of, a, of a series. Uh, I hate to kind of leave you hanging like this. is probably pretty short. Depends on what editing is going to look like. Well, seeing what you see here, this is a pretty nice canopy. I want to ask you guys, since I'm not going to be able to continue on this for too much longer, should I leave this mosquito netting on? Maybe cut it off at the bottom, even with the ground? Of course, put our wire on. Keep the chickens safe. But in the summer, this mosquito netting is going to keep the mosquitoes off of them. And then maybe if I want to cut it off later, I can do that and just sew the mosquito net back together. What do you think? I don't know. See, it's got these zippers. I can zip that down, keep the skeeters out, make for happier chickens. I'm going to have to make a bigger chicken coop, but this could be a good start to a little shelter, you know? Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Give me any ideas. Anybody ever done anything like this? I'm kind of making it up as I go because I don't have enough materials for like a proper fence. <laughs> I wanna thank you for watching. And if you liked the video, hit the like. If you liked it a lot, hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon, all of that jazz, you know how it goes. Check out my Patreon, social media, coffee account. Uh, mystery link, sure, why not? I'll put a mystery link down there. Could be anything from like a meme to something educational, to something that was gonna be a complete waste of your time. Who knows? <laughs> so yeah, let's discuss this. Any of you more experienced people out there, maybe you have some insight on this that I don't have. And the dogs seem to like it. <laughs> it's pretty cool under there. Right? No, you're just gonna like the camera. But yeah, anyway, bye. <laughs> see you later. Thank you very, very much for watching. I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time.